morning, everyone. In today's class, we will study how to calculate the direct material mix variance. So this is an advanced variance. So I hope you guys are thorough with the basic variance of direct material. So let's get started. Now we know that the direct material variance is divided into the direct material price variance and the direct material usage variance. What was the direct material price variance? It measures whether the price paid for the raw materials is more or less than the standard. And what was direct material usage variance? Whether the quantity of raw materials used is more or less than the standard. Now, direct material usage variance is divided into two. One is the direct material mix variance and the other one is the direct material yield variance. So here in this session, we are going to study what the direct material mix variance is. Now, the product that we are going to manufacture is the fruit punch. Now, the fruit punch requires three raw materials or three fruits, and they are the blueberry, the strawberry, and the red grapes. Now, let's see the quantity of raw materials that is required for making one fruit punch. It's 0.1 kg of blueberry, 0.1 kg of strawberry, and 0.1 kg of red grapes. That is, they are taking it equally. That is, each raw material has a one-third share, correct? Now, let's see the price of these raw materials. So, the standard price per kg in dollar is $7 for blueberry, $4 for strawberry, and $3 for grapes. Now, among these three, which is the most expensive raw material? It is blueberry, correct? Because it is priced at $1.7 per kg. And which is the cheapest raw material among the three? It is the red grapes. Now, if you use, if you use the blueberry more, that is more than the one-third share, then definitely you will end up in loss because you are using an expensive raw material more. And if you use the red grapes more, then you will have a higher profit because you are using a cheaper raw material more when compared to the standard. So this is what we are trying to measure in the direct material mix variance. That is whether the mix of the raw materials is equal to the standards, whether it is using more of an expensive raw material or whether it is using more of a cheaper raw material. The next detail that will be given is the actual production. So here the actual production is 1000 units and the actual raw materials used for making these 1000 units are blueberry 120 kg, strawberry again 120 kg and red grapes just 90 kg. So we have to see whether the mix of raw materials is more or less equal to the standards. Here we will be calculating the direct material mix variance according to the individual units method. This is a fairly easy method. Now, so the raw materials, we have three, the blueberry, the strawberry, and the red grapes, and the actual quantity of raw materials used, which was given in the question, was 120 kg blueberry, 120 kg strawberry, and 90 kg red grapes. This is what I've copied from the question. Now let's just total it. So we have used a total of 330 kg of raw materials. So what are we trying to find out? We are trying to find out whether this 330 kg is distributed between the three materials as per the standard mix. So let's divide 330 kg as per the standard mix. What was the standard mix? Blueberry, strawberry, and grapes were used in equal proportion, which means that the standard ratio was one is to one is to one. So we are supposed to divide 330 kg in one is to one is to one ratio. So we are going to divide 330 kg in the ratio of one is to one is to one. So how do you divide it in the ratio one is to one is to one? It is 330 divided by three, correct? For each of the raw materials. So it is 
110 kg. Now we are trying to find out whether there is any difference in the mix. So let's find the difference also. So the difference that is column C, that is nothing but column B minus column A. So as per the standard, we were supposed to use 110 kg, but we have used 120 kg. We have used 10 kg extra. So since we have used 10 kg extra, we have to write it as a negative figure. It is 110 minus 120 or minus 10 kg. So that's why minus 10 kg has come against blueberry. Coming to strawberry, it is 110 kg minus 120 kg. Again, it is minus 10. That is, we have used 10 kg extra. Coming to red grapes, it's 110 kg as per the standard mix. We have used only 90 kg. That is, we have used 20 kg less. That is why I have written here plus 20 kg. All that you have to do is column B minus column A is column C. And please note that you will get the total of column C as zero. And the standard price per kg, let's look into the question once again. Okay, so here is a question. The standard price per kg is seven, four, and three. So let's copy that into the answer. Standard price is seven, four, and three. So what is the variance in dollar? So the variance as far as blueberry is concerned, we have used 10 kg extra when compared to the standard mix. So it's an adverse variance multiplied by $7 because you have to convert it into dollar. So it is 10 into 7 or $70 adverse. Now coming to strawberry, we have used 10 kg extra, which means that 10 into 4 or $40 is the adverse variance. Now coming to the grapes, 20 kg we have used less compared to the standard. So it's a favorable variance and converting it into dollar, it was 20 into three or $60 favorable. So we total the last column to get the total variance as $50 adverse. And why is it adverse? Because we have used blueberry more and we have used grapes less. Blueberry is an expensive raw material. We have used an expensive raw material more and we have used a cheaper raw material less. This is the reason why we are ending up with an adverse variance. So stay tuned for the next video wherein I will be explaining how to calculate the direct material yield variance. Thank you.